Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is July the 4th, 2019, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, Lucky Lips Snapdragons. So this is what Lucky Lips Snapdragons look like. Now these are in a, a mass planting of them. I grouped them all together when I planted them. And they are a bicolor Snapdragon. And uh, you can use these for tape, for um, arrangements. Very beautiful. Um, it's a very unique flower. Very different uh, than any Snapdragon I've ever grown before. Now these get about two feet tall. And if you want nice straight stems for doing your arrangements, then I highly recommend that um, you uh, stake them up so that the stems grow nice and straight. So these snapdragons here, uh, when I was growing them from seed, I pinched the tops out of them when they were probably about four inches tall so that my snapdragons would branch out for me, which would give me more blossoms per plant. Now these are, uh, they get about two feet tall and they were a Floor Select Novelty Award winner. And I like the color variations because they're so different. It's like each flower is just different in its own way. There's no two that are alike. So um, I do recommend planting these like in a group because that's what I did with these and it really makes uh, a bold statement versus just planting like one of them. So a way to keep your snapdragons blooming is to remove the spent blossoms and they will uh, continue blooming for you. Now, mine are out in full sun. Now, if you live in a uh, warmer climate, then uh, you probably want to grow these like during the winter time and uh, enjoy them over the winter time because they don't always like the heat. I've never had an issue with them, but um, I know like down south, it gets really hot. So I'm not sure how they would grow down south. I know here in Pennsylvania, they grow very well for me. So, um, you can see this one here has uh, more blooms coming. And that's those right there. And they'll actually send out like a spike. And you can see that on these right here. It's a spike and it has the blossoms still coming on it. And it'll keep growing up with more blossoms on it until it reaches the top one. And then um, you can either take the whole stem off, like from where your flowers start at, or you can just remove the spent blossoms. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have, please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That's how I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.